the importance of dignity is that it gives you back your self-worth. So often people in poverty don't have control over a lot of events around them. So I'm on sickness benefits and I get reassessed every two years. And I don't have control over whether I'm going to have enough money to live off for the next two years or not. And people might be in private rental housing and they don't have control over whether the landlord will come and make repairs for them or not or they're looking for work and they can't force an employer to offer them a job they might just be getting repeated rejections and a lot of these situations can be very demoralizing and they they can strip away your confidence in yourself and in in your ability to change your future because you quite often don't have a huge amount of ability to control your future. Whereas the Poverty Truth Commission, it, it brings you into a situation where you can make a change because you're talking to the people who have decision-making power and they're listening because they want to learn. And that gives you that, that power again that most people have over a substantial part of their life where you can make a difference in your own life, but also in the lives of other people. So you know you're making a difference in the world, you're helping other people's lives to be better, which everyone wants to do. Humans are social creatures. We like to help one another out. And part of poverty, it's not just that you can't support yourself, it's not being able to help other people either because you're so restricted in your own finances, your own time, your own resources. And that in itself is a really horrible place to be in. So to have to have people listen to you, to take you seriously, to implement your suggestions, to actually want to give you some control and give you the decision making power. That's a really, it's a really wonderful experience. Remember the generosity of God and all that he has given and to think about how the way you live your life can either bring glory to God or dishonor to God and that actually part of how we worship God is how we live lives that display God's character to other people and part of God's character is a massive concern for people in poverty and for people who are victims of injustice. And therefore one of the things that Christians are called to do to worship God and to serve him is to stand up for people in poverty, stand up against injustice and to work for change so that poverty can be eradicated.